How you doing guys? I'm Sean. Hi everybody, I'm Lynn. I hope everybody's having an absolutely unbelievable day today. Absolutely scorching day today. Now, today's video, we're going to talk to you about this amazing, amazing quartz formation, which is called in hydro quartz. In now, hydro in hydro, what it is, is it form, in hydro forms in many different types of quartz crystals. And it's actually trapped water that is millions of years old, so that's millions and millions of years old, that got trapped inside the crystal while it was growing. Um, the crystal actually grew over, so it trapped the water inside it when it was growing. So the water's millions of years old inside the crystal, and it's absolutely incredible, isn't it? It's amazing to think. Now, on the table here, we've got a collection of lots of different types of inhydros, because inhydro comes in many different forms, such as Herkimer diamonds, often seen in Herkimers. Here we've got a piece of agate, and it's a lovely big chunk here, and the, the inhydro is inside it, there's water inside it if I shake it. And there's Brandenburgs as well, Brandenburg amethyst quartz, and, in, and uh, elestral quartzes as well, but there's water inside it. And what happens, it's a little bit of water, like a little water bubble inside. And when you give it a little bit of a shake, or you turn it to the side, you can see the tiny little bit of water bubble moving from side to side. And that is actually trapped inside the quartz crystal, which is amazing to think it really, really is, isn't it? Don't be expecting it to shake it, and it's like a can of Coke or fizzy drink, all the bubbles <laughs> flying everywhere. It is difficult to see, but we think it's absolutely amazing because we get such a bulge out of crystals and working with the energies of crystals and the fact that you know the way crystals are formed is amazing in itself but it adds a different dimension to it when, when there's water trapped inside it now we're aware of the lake of amber that would have wee insects trapped in it that's fantastic as it is because you can actually see the wee prehistoric um, animal inside it they look insect, not animal. But I wouldn't want to see a dinosaur inside one. <laughs> big enough piece of amber. <laughs> a big massive piece of amber with a little dino in there. <laughs> you usually get little creatures, <laughs> little creatures inside. <laughs> uh, okay, you may not have been in a Tyrannosaurus Rex instead of a little amber. <laughs> You might see what? it's DNA, mind you. You might get little DNA, DNA particles in there. Made in China. <laughs> Be careful about that one. There's a lot of wee fake insects in there. <laughs> yeah. There, there is a lot sometimes on eBay. You see a lot of amber like made in China. So you many know, this. You can time. actually see in the bottom of the fly and see some of the amber. If you look <laughs> on the feet, it's made in Taiwan. There will be plastic flies in the rack. And the flies all look identical. They're all like that. Du, 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 well, all nothing like that. Just like that. <laughs> But guys, it's absolutely amazing to think there's a wee insect inside amber. That's absolutely about insect, that's good. No, not an animal. <laughs> but within hydros, it's actually water that's trapped inside the quartz, which is absolutely amazing. I, I find it fascinating. Now, it must have been a good 15 years ago when I first found out about in hydro crystals. I was reading my crystal book. And I read about hydro crystals, what are they? And it says that it's got water actually trapped inside the crystal when it was growing. And the thought of that, I thought of having a crystal that had water that was millions of years old trapped inside really fascinated me. And I looked everywhere to try and get one. Of course, the internet, even 15 years ago, believe it or not, eBay was nothing like it is now. And I couldn't get one anywhere. Anyway, I actually went to Glastonbury the one day and in the shop, Stone Age, they had some in hydros and I was like, yeah, and I was really, really happy. And I've been fascinated by these amazing crystals ever, ever since. They are just amazing, aren't they? Definitely. And they got me into them and as I say, it's been a fantastic form of meditation with. And I say all crystals are great, you know, to be working with. And certainly the quartz would be amazing uh, for meditation, but it does genuinely add a different dimension to it. The thought, I don't know where it's psychological or what, but when you know that there's water trapped in there for oh, millions of years wow. and it's still alive, you know what I mean? And I say to you guys, it just has an amazing energy. And I say all crystals have an amazing energy, but there is something special I oh. find with the hydro. Oh, absolutely. Well, I find that they are very good for meditation, as, as all crystals are, but there's something special about these that really helps you go. They are really, really lovely. They're very good using for healing as well. I like the way you've done that, by the way. Oh. Meditation. Yeah. But it is, it really does as well. The, the water inside, I find, is absolutely fascinating. Very good for lying down and meditation. If you're doing your meditation, lie down and put it onto the third eye. It's obviously not too big of a crystal like that, obviously. But, but it is really yeah. wonderful. Absolutely. Now, so 
is okay then. What does Inhydro do? What's it good for? Well, Inhydro basically enhances the energy of the type of crystal it's inside. Now, the, the Inhydro air bubbles are found in quartz crystals, and of course there's many different types of quartz crystals. As you know, there's smoky quartz, there's amethyst, and it enhances the properties of that crystal. So if you've got a piece of, as in this case, amethyst here, you get all the properties of amethyst and the anhydro, the water is like enhances the properties even more so it makes it even more powerful to work with. And in this case, a little smoky elestral enhances all the properties of the elestral. So it is an amazing, amazing crystal. So if you can get hold of an anhydro crystal, not only would it have the amazing properties of that crystal anyway, in this case, clear quartz, this has actually got black carbon inside it. But the, the water enhances the properties even further, so it's amazing. As well as the fact that if you're into collecting crystals, like we love them for healing, but we also love collecting them as well because we find them fascinating. I love the thought of having crystals with water inside. I find it absolutely amazing. It's just really special, isn't it? And the more you're working with the crystals, and the more you're out and buying crystals, you can purchase these here in crystal shops, any good reputable crystal shop. You can even get them online in various places, you know. But see, when, you, when you're even buying a crystal, it is good to have a wee loop with you, a wee magnifying glass, because it's surprising that the air bubbles are so small. They are really they tiny be to missed. see. And I say, usually when you see there's like a lot of fractures and things like that inside the crystals, and you see the wee trapped air bubbles, always put a wee loop up your eye and have a look. They are difficult to see, do you know what I mean? Some of the, the, the crystals, you'd have a bigger air bubble inside it, and you can see the water more clearly. But you'd be surprised, and the crystals you actually have at home currently now, you may actually have one. That's and this exactly is a great right. way to actually mm -hmm. to, to work with your crystal. And I don't know if you've already done this, it's like a sort of a side thing, but you know, if you get yourself a wee loop and you, you pull the crystal up and you actually loop through it and you're looking at it, that's one of the best meditation. When you oh, start okay. actually looking through a loop on a crystal up close, bit of music in the background, you'll start to connect more with the energy of the crystal. You'll be amazed at what you'll see in there. Oh, it's like a little world. In fact, Definitely. when you look inside a crystal, through magnifying glass, really close, it's like a whole universe going on inside that crystal. And it is so right, it's one of the best forms of meditation because you get lost in it. You look at it and you just think, wow, and you see all the little imperfections all inside the crystal, like little tiny little bubbles and all that. And you see all the big crystals and growing and things like that inside it. You know? Oh, that's amazing. And that is just so relaxing to do, isn't it? But you might find if you've got crystals at home, which I'm sure most of you have, you actually get a um, magnifying glass up to them. You might even find there's actually water inside them already because, as an example, like I bought most of these as in hydros, but this one here, this I actually bought as just quartz, plain quartz. And when I was looking through it, as whenever I buy a new crystal, I always, the first thing I do is obviously I connect to it. Then I get a magnifying glass and I stare at it for ages and I like analyse it. And this is where I found a water bubble in here. I thought, oh, what's that? And I moved it and it moved from side to side. And I actually saw there's an actually water inside this. And I was like, yeah, it's an in hydro. And I was totally unaware of it. So what you might have find it got somewhere else. Sort of plate into the AB. Yeah, but now, um, with this one, I got a bargain because I just bought this as quartz. It's something like two, two pounds or something like that. Um, but if, if obviously the selling new would have been in the hydro, would have been a lot more. They are very, very expensive because um, they are very rare. And it depends who you get them from. You can get them on eBay. Um, and they could rain. Good old eBay. Good old eBay, yeah, the good, the good old faithful eBay. Um, and they start anything from, say, a crystal this size, um, it's amethyst, possibly, I would say, from 25 um, euros or probably about, for about $30 upwards, is that right, mm. would you say? Um, anything I'd say from 25 um, dollars to about fifty dollars whether it's america or euro and if they attach a, a, a trade name till the end of it you'd probably stick another fifty dollars on top of that yeah. you know, yeah. so just be careful um if they add any dimensions so it should be powerful enough and you know desirable enough for you just to get in hydro just watch that they don't add more to it the, the wizardry attached to it this is going to do it so i say to you guys keep me eye out for it and uh hope we've um you uh -huh. know wet your appetite Keep an eye out for any dinosaurs trapped inside the air bubbles. <laughs> any thing. dinosaurs trapped inside the air bubbles, that's right. Well, you never know. They could possibly, when you think about it, right, these crystals are millions of years old and the water trapped inside them is millions of years old. Well, it's, it's, it's more than likely going to have probably some remains, DNA, dinosaurs, baby dinosaurs before the dinosaurs, really, isn't it? A baby Loch Ness monster could be. A baby Loch Ness monster could be because swimming around. But that, they think that these were formed when the earth was forming, when you think about it. So even dinosaurs wouldn't have been around then. You think how old crystals are, I find that absolutely amazing. Like when I'm holding a piece of crystal in my hand like that, 
I know, to think it's millions of years old, I get such a buzz from that. Yeah. I think, wow, millions, like, if we were only on this earth for such a tiny, tiny space, like tiny, tiny space when you think of it, then you think how old these crystals are. And then things we, in perspective. They're going to carry on when we pass over. We're just earth keepers of them for such a short time. That's why when you've got crystals there, then we're very passionate about how we keep our crystals how you should be keeping your crystals and you walk into some shops and they're just laying there in baskets as if they're nothing. They're just thrown into do boxes. Know what I mean? um, mm. Do you know what I mean? So genuinely they're millions of years old and they say that you know when you're an earth keeper for your crystals are respective of it costs you one dollar or a hundred dollars you know uh, you know treat them with respect mm -hmm. you don't have to worship them but you treat them with respect because of the age of them and how they've right. got this journey to you for this wee short period of both of your legs and as I say how do you um, look after them well. Absolutely. Guys. Each one is, is amazing to think how it's created. It really is. Definitely. Anyway, another more waffling. Uh, we just wanted to we just wanted to tell you about in hydro crystals because you may or may not know about them. Most people that we meet, we tell them about crystals and if we haven't to tell about in hydro, they've never heard of it. So if you haven't heard of it, it'd be good to look out for one, even now in the future, because the unusualness of them is amazing and so it enhances the properties of the crystal you've got, whether it's clear quartz, smoky quartz or amethyst and her came up. So, anyway. Guys, listen, send us love from Ireland. We really appreciate all your feedback. And if you haven't already subscribed, please click a wee subscribe button and help us get the message out there. And we'd be grateful if you could share these videos and say, well, one that you just get people more involved and probably think outside the box. You know, there's nothing too heavy here. There's nothing carved in stone. It's just really our wee way of saying that, you know, you've got a brain, you're intuitive. Start working with crystals, working with the earth energies start to meditate, start to watch what you're putting into your body, use the energies of the crystals. And this world is an absolutely beautiful place to live. And as I say, Katie, these here will help you get to where you're meant to be going. You know? Absolutely. Guys, listen, yeah. send your love from Ireland. Have a fantastic day. And I say really appreciate you watching our video. Yeah. Send you loads of love and positive energy and happiness on Ireland as always. Bye. See you later, guys. Till next time. Bye. Keep an eye out for any dinosaurs now. Yeah. Look out for dinos. <laughs>